Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making enchiladas. First of all, we are going to put some oil in our pan and put half a stick of ground beef into our pan. And then we are just going to stir it and make sure that the ground beef break into little pieces because you don't want any chunks unless you want it. That is totally up to you, but what I'm going to do is break it up into small pieces. I'm going to add some salt for flavor and then some black pepper. And if you don't like black pepper, you can skip this step. It's to totally up to you. And the oil is really hot, so you got to be careful, as you guys can see, that it is popping, popping everywhere. And oops, I just dropped my spoon, but I am washing it off right now. And then I'm just going to reuse it. No need to take out a new spoon because they need more dishes for you to wash later. So at, at that time, I was um my stove was set at medium high but then as the meat cook i turned the stove up a little bit and then i'm going to add some onion this is half a yellow onion and if you want to, you can um, use as much as you want. I did only use half a onion. And with this recipe, uh, it is made for three to four people. It really depends on how much you guys eat. I am putting a little more, more salt to my meat just to make sure that it has enough flavor and just to let you guys know that i am using the green enchilada sauce i normally use the red one but all i had in my pantry uh, at the time was just the green one so i am going to be using that So it looks like it's almost ready. I'm going to do a test, taste test. Stir it one more time. Then it is good. I'm just turning off the stove. And what we are going to use is the tortillas, the really, really soft one they said. So I'm just pushing the meat to the side and then I'm going to roll the tortillas. I am going to be putting some meat in there. Sprinkle it with some cheese. Roll it. And then I am going to be using the same pan. One more time. Tortilla meat a little bit more meat <laughs> and then some cheese and roll it there you go and then i'm just going to continue doing this until the meat runs out or until you're done with their tortillas but in this case i did leave some ground beef on the bottom because some people might like a little bit more 
meat than what I've put in there already but that's totally okay because more meat just means that you work harder right And then you're gonna put the sauce in. As you guys can see, meat on top. And I'm only putting three quarter of the sauce. And with this, I still feel that I put a little bit too much sauce over it. And then I'm putting cheese. Lots and lots and lots of cheese. Because I love cheese. I just love it. And then after you put the cheese, I'm just going to use some foil. I'm gonna put it over it because I wanna make sure that the tortilla is soft and that everything else is cooked. I mean, it's already cooked, but I wanna make sure that it is cooked. And then you're gonna put it into the oven for 15 minutes and then you are going to take off the top like I'm doing now be careful it is really hot I'm going to put it for another four to five minutes to make sure the cheese is kind of golden brown and then we are going to plate it for dinner and this is how it looks like as you guys can see it's still boiling that's all that i have for you guys until next time i will see you guys thank you bye